Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Miss Amy. Today I'll be talking about pretty privilege and my experience with it while doing my makeup. I had actually written the script for this video long ago, but something happened on Reddit that made me rewrite it. I could clearly see that regardless of everyone being beautiful in their own way, some people's own way was earning them way more profits than the rest. When I was in primary section, I had no clue what I looked like because I never cared. I still had observed that some kids that had fairer skin tone, longer hair, time or early dupes were given more preferential treatment than kids with dark complexion. They had to deal with racist comments and were considered ugly. This was not limited to students, but elders also carried the same bias. Things got worse in middle section when we started caring about how we look more and hit puberty. I got really conscious about how I look. It was highly influenced by comments made by others, sometimes direct, sometimes indirect. A new girl had joined our class. She had straight hair, fair skin, and every guy had asked her out. Every student talked about how pretty she was. Even the teachers complimented her on her hair and face all day. I didn't realize I was jealous back then, but now I do. For a while, I was ashamed, and now I forgive myself and feel sorry instead. I received a lot of scarring comments about my appearance by people who were supposed to be my friends, whether it was pointing out body hair, unibrow, how my nose is flat, how my skin isn't spotless enough, blah blah. There was a girl in my class who used to make fun of my nose and used to tell me that it looks like a pakora. And every time she spotted me, she'll be like, don't you have a comb at home? What I don't understand about people like this is that I never commented on their appearance or their business. So I don't understand why they go out of their way to do things like this. But after school was over, this girl made a body positivity page, which was so ironic. And there she posted about how she's insecure about her own hair. That made me realize people who usually point out things in you or talk shit are, are people who are dissatisfied with themselves and that's why they project their insecurities like this. To make things worse, I got into K-pop and looked up the word Ulzang on Pinterest and was shook by how beautiful and all like these girls were. They had paper-like skin and I was really pissed off that I had hyperpigmentation around my mouth, near my nose. I was not being very accepting towards my Indian skin tone. After class 8, I started becoming more experimental with my clothes and I started wearing makeup after school was over. I was not doing that great of a job at that point of time, but that did make a difference because over time I improved. During this time, I started editing the shit out of my pictures and I had no clue what I looked like. I had developed severe face dysmorphia. I was scared of meeting people without makeup or meeting people at all. So I used to find videos about how social media is fake and the pages that revealed before and after pages of celebrities to find out how many surgeries they had extremely hypocritical because the before picture was intentionally edited to make it look worse. It felt like another undercover competition for who has the least amount of surgeries, who aged the least. It seemed like people wanted the other person to be ugly to feel better about themselves, not because they wanted the realistic image of anything. The biggest change came after I started fitting the beauty standard better and people started treating me better, whether it was elders or younger people or classmates. So this is a story time about a guy who messaged me a few months back or years back, I don't exactly remember, but he told me that his crush follows me and his crush liked me a lot. That's why he lied to her that he's friends with me since years and if she messages me, I should tell her that we are friends. And I thought it's a very harmless lie, so I can do that. But he posted this story without asking me. Obviously, this pissed me off, but this is nothing compared to all the harassment I have received on social media. So recently on Reddit, I found a page which rates celebrities and they posted my picture without consent and someone commented that they rate me a 5 at most because I'm fake and without makeup, I look like a man. This really shook me for days until I noticed on this page, Jenny from Blackpink was also rated a 5, who is one of the prettiest people I have seen. So the conclusion I came up with is that looks will forever matter and no amount of being YouTubean is going to change it. But the least we can do is change our perception of beauty and recognize bias because it's so subjective. Surround yourself with more diverse faces from different cultures and countries. I have a very complicated relationship with this topic, but I'm always learning and unlearning. I have realized that being hot is a state of mind. At least thinking so has helped me a lot. Just because someone misunderstands you or thinks that you're a catfish, the more people engage with you, the more people talk about you, the more relevant you're going to stay. Also, let me know your thoughts on this topic or your experiences. Thanks for watching.